cheesecakes. And we need yogurt. And they are actually sugar free. And We're using a sugar we need, alternative. And we need one egg. And one egg. That's right. You show off all the ingredients. And we need juice to make the ingredients. And you ready? And xylitol. And xylitol too. And we make. Um, okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it, mommy. 300. Open up the cream cheese. Put it in now? Yeah, put it in. Are you messy? You don't like cream cheese like this, do you? You just like it like cheesecake. Wash your hands. Oh, wash your hands. You're right, it's not plugged in. Kids, remember that you need an adult to help you in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, not, pass it to mommy. Nobody can do it themselves. Well, when you're grown up, you can. Yeah. All right, you ready to use it? Yeah. Okay. Turn. Are you holding the bowl? Yes. Yes, mommy, help you turn it on. We're going to beat the cream cheese. Once the cream cheese is smooth, you're going to add the yogurt. Now. Yeah. So we beat the yogurt into the cream cheese. Don't overbeat it. You don't want to overbeat your cream cheese cheesecake mixture. Um, you just do it until things are just combined. Okay. You can put the xylitol into the cream cheese. Um, let me my tummy. Oh, just dump it, love. I'll put it in with my hand. <laughs> so you can lick your hand after? Mm -hmm. I don't recommend doing it this way. Just dump it in. <laughs> mm. There you go. <gasps> okay, we're going to crack our egg. I want to mix it, Mommy. And we're just going to mix it enough so we don't see any of the white left, but don't mix it too much. So that's about it. That's all you need to do. Okay, we'll mix the eggs in just a little bit until they're just combined. What do you want? Do you want to lick this or should I lick it? Mommy! Put this in. Okay, we're going to put in the lime juice. Take the lime juice. It's green. Okay. Oopsies, it's hot. <laughs> the lime juice is sour? Mm -hmm. Is it good sour? Why do you keep licking your fingers then? Because it's good sour. <laughs> okay, we're going to mix up the lime juice just by hand, gently. At this point, we are going to divide the batter into two different bowls. Two thirds of it goes in here and one third of it goes in here. Three pieces of dark chocolate into the bowl. <gasps> What's that? Chocolate on the floor! Oh no! Just let it go for 10 second intervals and pull it out and stir it every 10 seconds to make sure it doesn't burn. There's just a few chunks left and then just stir it by hand to get those melted. So this part needs to be done pretty quickly. You're going to take your bowl of one third batter. You're going to add a bit of it to the chocolate and then you're going to add all of this once it's quickly whisked all into here and quickly whisk it okay. and do it as quickly as we can. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to temper the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'll add it all.
It's all brown. The vanilla and the chocolate cream cheese. You're going to fill up your pan. The cups are going to be filled up halfway with the white. And then you put a dollop of this in the center of each one. So I put the white cream cheese into a piping bag. Just makes it easier. And here's a tip for all you Canadians watching. This piping bag is a milk bag. If you wash your milk bags, and I know for all Americans who think we're weird, this won't apply, but your milk bag is strong enough to hold your milk, so it is strong enough to pipe icing or cheesecake batter. I like to tap the tray to get any bubbles out that are in there. So I decided to try piping the chocolate as well, and it works, which is great. So I'm gonna be always piping it like this from now on. I always thought maybe it would be too thick to pipe, but it isn't, so that's awesome. So I'll keep on with these. What's in there? Water. Water, don't dump it on there, okay? Do you know what the water's for, love? It's to just get the chocolate to settle down a little bit on the cheesecakes. We tap the pan, but there's still sometimes a few parts that are raised a bit, so we're gonna just gently dip our fingers in the water here. Dip your finger in, and then very gently just tap, tap, tap on the top. Tap, 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 and then dip your fingers again. What do we need to do with that? We need to put the cheesecakes on there. Okay, just like that. And then you're going to put hot water around the cheesecakes and then put them in the oven. Eight minutes. With cheesecakes, you don't open the oven. You leave all the steam in there and let it do its thing. Resist the urge to open up the stove. No peeking, okay? Promise? I'm just gonna get out of the fridge. No peeking. <laughs> Where'd they all go? <laughs> 